It's time to unleash an unprecedented four graveyards on Clash Royale. The rank 109 player in the world has cooked up a supremely spooky deck. In Single Winter, it's all about playing passive, cycling your skeletons and zaps to get to their evolutions, and using Elixir Collector to get an Elixir Advantage. And once you have a sizable Elixir Advantage from double Elixir hitting or enough collectors, it's time to spook and scare your opponent. Go in for your golem in the back and have your Night Witch tag along. Have Skeleton King in the right hand side and split your evolved skeletons. While giving a graveyard to your Golem Night Witch push for endless skeletons. Since you'll have Skeleton Multiplication on both sides with the evolved skeletons, Graveyard on the tower, and the Skeleton King ability, you'll have four different sources of graveyards. And the Night Witch endlessly spawning bats, which are basically skeletons from the sky, which if you're feeling extra spicy, almost counts as a fifth source of graveyard. And when you have skeletons spawning on every angle, your opponent's gonna have to divide their stuff and defend cheaply with bait cards, which are destined for demise when you have arrows and evolve zap. If you only have one evolution, use evolve skeletons. It's time to evolve our skeleton spam to an unquantifiable degree to assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And lots of skeleton love to everyone that's supporting the channel with critic code SIRTAG. Yo, this guy's got such a cool banner. He's got Pekka, which isn't cool for us to be playing against since we've got Golem, but we have a lot of bait cards, so it might not be the worst thing in the world. Definitely going to zap the tower so we can cycle the evolution. And as you can see, this deck is played with Cannoneer at top ladder. If you don't have Cannoneer, don't worry. We're going to be playing with the Princess Tower as well. It probably works really well with both decks. Just because you're going to be able to spam a lot of evolved skeletons, go in for graveyards with this evolved skeletons, the actual graveyard, and then you're going to have the Night Witch Bat spawning skeletons in the sky. So, you know, it's nice to be able to have this comfortability with spamming an immense amount of bait pressure. I'm gonna go for Elixir Collector in the back right, just because I know that I want to be able to get Elixir Collectors on the map before I go in for my Graveyard and before I go in for my Golem, since it costs so much Elixir. Okay, so interestingly enough, the guy decides to go in for a Mega Knight in the middle. We're gonna be able to kite that with the Golem, and then I think we're totally fine on defense if we go for a Skeletons. I might even go for a Zap to guarantee that we can kill the Electro Wizard. I think that the Electro Wizard dies to the Golem Explosion. If not, wait, the Cannoneer just crushes the Mega Knight? There's no way. That's insane how much value we just got. And we're going to be able to decipher a decent defense. No, we don't even need to. We don't even figure anything out. We're chilling. We're on offense all the way. I thought we would have to body block an Inferno Dragon, but it seems like the Inferno Dragon is going to get lost at sea. It's not going to be there any longer. It got stranded and absolutely starved on our opponent's side of the map. It had no counter pressure. That's hilarious. The fact that I figured I would have to defend and then everything died. So I'm going to go Golem. And we'll see what this guy has to say about it. If he decides to spam into us, we can go in for a golem plus graveyard on the left and possibly ignore everything in the right. Alternatively, we can go in for evolved skeletons and spam in both sides. So generally the best play with this deck is going for golem in one side. And then wait, the evolved zap on the inferno dragon? Are we just gonna kill it with the... There's no way. We just use night witch bats and an evolved zap to destroy everything this guy owns. And then we're going to go for the graveyard with the Skeleton King, the graveyard in actuality, and then the Evolved Skeletons. There's three graveyards on the map right now, guys. There are literally three graveyards in Clash Royale. And this guy, I don't know what he's going to do. He's just dead. He's going to get put in his own graveyard. This is absurd. This shouldn't be allowed, Clash Royale. Are you understanding how stupid this is? It shouldn't be possible. We eviscerated everything this guy owned in just a couple seconds. My guy was swimming in a sea of skeletons until he drowned. As we gulped down all three of his crowns like honey lemon tea. After devouring that Mega Knight player, we've pushed up to 2,700 in the world. And that felt way too easy with the Cannoneer melting an entire Mega Knight in single elixir so we could build up two elixir collectors and conquer our opponent. So we gotta nerf ourselves, bop out the Cannoneer, and put in the Princess Tower. I think in practicality, this might be one of the easiest decks to push up ladder with. I feel like if our opponents can't stop the three crown, it's going to be a straight shot all the way up. So first play, obviously going to be Cycling Skeletons. And because he drops his Goblin Barrel off to the side, I'm able to identify that and drop our Skeleton King to swarm his Skellies. Well, I guess not Skellies. His Goblins get turned into Skeletons for us. So I guess I was predicting the future. They are going to be thrown back in your face if I want to go click the Skeleton King ability, which I definitely do, just to see if we can go and conquer the Knight and not spend any Elixir on that thing. Because then I can Arrows and then finish off the Princess. Oh, he's going to go in for a rocket. I wonder if he goes Goblin Barrel on me. Uh, let's just go Arrows on the Princess and then Zap if he goes Goblin Barrel. It's a bit better for us to allocate our spells. And then I don't think that Logbait has a good time into our deck. And I think that there's a lot of Logbait decks in Clash Royale. So 
I mean, this is going to be fun. I want to go in for a Night Witch, and then I'm going to go for Skeletons off to the side so we minimize the amount of damage that we take. And then we can Shake and Bake with the Skeleton King. Skeleton King plus Night Witch is my favorite push in single elixir because you're not dedicating that amount of elixir. It's just like, just kind of chill. It's a lackadaisical push. And if your opponent messes up, you can lay waste to them. Like he's going to go Ice Spirit. It doesn't jump onto what he wants. And then the Skeletons and the Night Witch are still parading through. I can zap on this so then the Spear Goblins die. And then I think I'm in an okay spot. I mean, cycling the zap, you can't go wrong with it. You're just cycling to evolutions, right? Every single time you take a weird trade or not so good trade, you're like, ah, you know, cognitive dissonance, the man's best friend. You always say that it's in theory to cycle to the evolution and you were strategizing all along. You can't go wrong when you're spamming evolutions in Clash Royale, at least in 2024. So we're gonna go in for the Night Witch and we'll see if he wants to go in for a Princess of the River. A lot of times they'll do that. Actually, I drop it in the back. You know what? We might be able to get a Mischievous Arrows on top of the Tesla and also on top of the Princess at the same time. So I'm feeling pretty spicy out here. Yes, sir. We don't want to pop the ability, but we do at the same time and we don't get it. He falls apart like Legos. So we're going to be let's go in on defense with the Skeletons, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be our best bet. We're also going to be zapping here. I don't think he's going to be able to break through even if he goes in for a log. Pretty sure that... Oh, never mind. I thought the skeletons would multiply through everything. I'm so used to them giving us impenetrable value, but I guess not there. All right, we can arrows on top of the princess, minimize the amount of value he gets there. Go in for our golem graveyard push. And I think even though we're down 2,000 damage, I'm a believer right now. I'm going to go for golem slightly in front of our tower just because I don't want him to be able to body block and start spamming stuff at the river. I, I, I need to make sure that he can't get his insane value that he's hoping for. Also, I'm pretty sure we can zap away a princess. Don't we just graveyard here and then arrows and win? Or do we do we just zap? I mean, this is just too good to pass up on, right? Obviously, we're going to arrow is that. Galton King is going to come down. He's going to go Goblin Barrel on defense. Wait, this is pure memes. I'm loving this right now. <laughs> we can go for skeletons and then we can go Golem again. He has to princess, but if he does that, then he also has to deal with the Night Witch Golem push again. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I can eat most of the damage here, and then I can arrows on top of the Spear Goblins and the Princess. And then I can eat the damage in the right. And then we can just continue to spam like a madman. We are a madman, my guy! And we're gonna make you furious. If I can get a Night Witch in front of this, I might be able to salvage the situation where both the Skeletons don't die, hopefully. And then we can go in for an Evolve Zap on the left. Yeah, I think we just Evolve Zap on the Spear Goblins and they die. He's dead to Evolve Zap! Look this at the Skeletons! Fine. He would have gone three crowned! Oh my gosh! His mental insanity was saved there. There was no way for him to defend the onslaught of aggression that we had built up. So luckily, he got away with only losing one crown. But you guys know the true end of the fairy tale. He would have gotten absolutely annihilated. And honestly, I kind of wanted to see the entirety of the game play out as we continue to play our heart out all the way to 2002 in the world with our skillless Golem Graveyard deck. Hey, we're planning to get someone to finish top 700 in the world. He's also a part of a clan, so you guys already know he's going to be a total tryhard. So I'm going to go in for a Skeleton King here. And by that, I mean, like, anyone that has a clan matching their name means that they've probably put a lot of thought in how they're going to play Clash Royale matches since they're in a professional team, or at least, you know, they're a part of a clan that's with a whole bunch of other people that play this game competitively. So we'll see what we can do here. I think I'm just going to go for a Zap so we can get some extra damage on the tower, and then we can cycle vigorously to our Elixir Collector. Generally, that's going to be the best bet with this deck, and also, you know, into an Evo Bomber. I, I think we have to prioritize defending that first and foremost. Obviously, the Goblins are going to do a lot of damage, but I can go for a Skeleton King and clean them up. And we can soak up those Goblins and the Bats and the Skeletons and throw it back at our opponent's face. I think that this is going to be the best play for us possible. Popping the ability a little bit earlier before the Skeleton King crosses is ideal. Reason is... Because the Skeleton King is going to get tanked for by the Skeletons that, you know, take a long time for him to kill. Also, we're going to be able to get away with a Arrows here. Then go for Skeletons. Oh, we hit a Fire Spirit too! That's insane! Wait, I'm getting so greedy right now. I'm getting so greedy. I don't know if that was smart. I mean, I am running a Golem deck. As long as I don't lose my tower, I think it's worth it. Yep, I don't lose my tower. Talent right now, guys. Going all in. It's, it's a pro play, I swear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can go Golem Graveyard right now because he just used his poison. I don't think he understands. He doesn't understand the ramifications of the situation. I'm able to subtly and slyly go in for my Night Witch 
and sneak on by with some bats and then go for a graveyard with the Skeleton King and the Night Witch bats and also the skeletons from the skeleton spam. I mean, this is just unrealistic. This is crazy. There's no way he's defending this properly, right? There's way too much crap. We still have a skeleton alive on the left. I wonder if he's able to clean it up. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even know what's about to happen. We haven't even unveiled our final form of graveyard. Here it is. <laughs> this is so dumb. We're forcing a poison, but we're too toxic for it. Wait, I can go for another Night Witch and a Golem in the right-hand side, and we still have the Evolve Zap. He doesn't even know that that's happening. So we are unleashing utter devastation with our evolutions. Obviously, I'm not going to let the Fire Spirit connect. We're going to make him spend more Elixir. He's not going to get out of that so easily. I'm able to probably easily arrows on everything here. Clean that all up real quick. We force out a freaking poison on defense. He doesn't have that for the graveyard anymore. I still haven't had the ability to go in for our Evolve Zap, but y'all already know. It's happening on the Evo Bomber. Goodbye. Get bombed out of this game, my guy. <laughs> Even a top 700 player in Clash Royale with a poison still can't stop our utter chaotic spam. That is ridiculous. Another guy would have been on the brink of extinction getting three crowned if we just had a couple seconds longer. And that guy is running one of the most overpowered win conditions in the game right now, Goblin Drill. He finished 722 in the world last season, so he's a top player piloting that deck. So basically, one of the best players in the world running one of the best decks in the game, and he still got smacked. Hey, this guy's got goblins everywhere in the banner, so hopefully we can gobble up his towers real quick. Y'all already know, skeletons are the first card to cycle because they are our mascot of the deck. Hey, what the heck, man? Are we going to be running it back with another drill deck? I mean, we just beat a pro player playing it, so I feel like we are not going to be scared of you, sir. I don't know what you're playing, though. Oh, all right. Well, it's a different version, I guess. He's still running drill because it is absolutely overpowered, but it doesn't matter. In the face of adversity... We conquer. This deck is really demoralizing for anyone that plays against it that doesn't understand how toxic it can get. So I want to go in for our Elixir Collector here. And unfortunately for us, the downside here is we're not playing into Cannoneer like we did last time. Cannoneer is awful into all the skeletons that we have. However, he's not going to be having that. So I guess I can go in for a graveyard relatively early since he just decided to go for a poison. I wonder if we can still conquer his towers in single elixir. Usually I won't do this, but specifically because the evolved bomber is out of cycle and the poison is out of cycle, I feel like I can try to make a bit of a more of an onslaught. I'm going to go in for our skeletons. I'm going to go in for a night witch in the back and then I'm going to graveyard as soon as I possibly can, right as the golem crosses the river. So we want the golem to be tanking for the graveyard, as you guys can see. And then hopefully we can get a juicy arrows here. I mean, I'm just trying to hit all the skeletons with the arrows. And that would make me happy. And then the Night Witch is going to pounce its way through towards the tower. Wait, no! Why did it go towards the bomb tower? Dang it. It really looked like it was going to go there, but I guess he kited it with the Ice Spirit or some semblance of bait. So it is what it is. He may be going for the Elixir Collector again and then try to build up another big push. But if he's going to get gleefully spamming Goblin Drills on us, we got to go Skeleton King instead. I hate how that Goblin always finds a way to hit my tower. The first one, that is. All right, sure, sure, sure. Just keep getting damage. That's fine by me. No, it's not. All right, this is really bad for me. That's a lot more damage than I hoped for. All right, that's a lot. That's horrible. That is horrifying. That is scary. I could pop the ability, but I don't think that's the right way to play right now. I think I need to go in for more spam with Night Witches. Dropping the Night Witch in front is bad. We need to be able to defend this. I think arrows might be the right play, but if I arrows, I'm dead. So I think I just sack tower, go arrows on offense... And then build up one last big push. Evolve skeletons, you gotta save my butt. Or we're not gonna have any butt left over. Alright, so we're gonna go in for this. He's gonna log, that's fine. We can pop the ability on the left. Uh, with the Night Witch double, please. The Evolve skeletons are just dead. Wait, there's no way! There's no way. If we Arrows, I think that's gonna kill the Ice Spirit. It will kill the Evolve Bomber. I can definitely zap here. I wonder if this does enough. This is gonna barely be enough or barely not. Please don't let my towers rot. We got this. If we can just get a little bit of skeleton love. Just a little bit of skeleton love. No! <laughs> Tragic. He hits me up with a 20 win emote. As soon as the skeletons were swarming the tower, they just didn't get the hits. 
hey, it happens. If we had taken that tower because we're in a 1-1 situation, the exact same thing would have happened as the last game where we drop our golems and we overwhelm them. Minor Poison and Goblin Drill decks get decimated in 1-1 situations because there's no safe place to put their building. Anywhere they drop it, our golem and skeleton king would arrive on it immediately meaning they wouldn't be able to delay and distract, allowing us for fast and easy damage. I gotta give that top ladder 20 win player a ton of credit. He knew how to use the Evolve Bomber perfectly to get a huge amount of damage early on. If you hadn't used the Tornado Evolve Bomber, I can guarantee I would have won that game. Super close to securing that win, but you're not able to win them all. We'll bounce on next one and bounce back there. And it's time to bounce back. Against Sandstorm Top, we're gonna topple this dude. Y'all already know the deal. We're gonna be going in for our Skeleton King. What the heck? Drill, it's time for a redemption arc. I understand you are the best win condition in Clash Royale right now, but we're gonna break you down. So strategy for us is to go for the Elixir Collector because he doesn't have Drill and Cycle, so he can't punish me. It's not like he can do anything besides Poison. Of course, he's gonna have Poison because that's way harder for us to deal with. And that kind of counters one of my graveyards. Luckily, we got four of them, so we might be chilling. I'm also going to go Golem in the back because he's not going to go and augment that Little Prince. And even if he does, we can zap. It doesn't matter that much. He's going to lose the Little Prince. And now we are up an impressive amount of Elixir with no Poison in cycle for our opponent and no Goblin Drill in cycle. So he can't apply pressure. Because we knew what his win condition was out, we knew that, hey, it takes four cards to cycle. You didn't have four cards back. We can go in for our graveyard and our Golem and make sure that you stay on defense. But dude, you've got Bowler? My man is a menace to society. He has the bowler to knock things back. He's got the little prince to knock things back. And then he's got the freaking bomb tower to go and kite things to the middle. He is such a tragically tough person to play against. We are going to go for a zap just to go and cycle to our evolve zap. And we get a little bit of extra love on the tower. I definitely do want to go in for the electric collector on the left hand side and make him go in the same side as us. Idealistically, that would be cool. No, stop. All right, well, Skeleton King, maybe you can body block the Goblin. Nope, never happens. I always don't have that happen for me. It is what it is, but I wish it would work once. Maybe just once, but the one time, you know? Anyway, we're going to try to make something happen here with another Golem because he hasn't even went in for his poison. I think he's sufficiently spooked by our Skeletons and he doesn't want to get destroyed by Skellies spamming on both sides. However, that's exactly what we have in store for him. So we're going to go in for our skeletons right now just to get to our evolved skeleton cycle and could be able to cannibalize that knight. He's not going to be able to go in for a good poison here, so he's going to try to go for a poison against the graveyard, it seems. If we go for a zap, we will be able to reset everything. Definitely want to go arrows first and then go in for a zap on top of the little prince. It will die to one skeleton. Let's go. That is huge value. We are becoming the monster that we've always wanted to be. Now I can go for the whisker collector in the middle and possibly make something happen here. I know that he's going to have to go in for his Goblin Drill and he won't be able to hit that. Let's go in for our Golem. Ooh, is he going to go Goblin Drill in the middle? There's no way. Yeah, he's not about that life at all. All right, we could Arrows and clean up the Evolve Bomber. I believe it's better for us to just go for a Night Witch instead. Even if I think I can damage on my tower, he's going to be going on the other side. Now we can go in for our Graveyard and we've got the Evolve Zap. But we don't want to Evolve Zap too soon because it's going to reset the tower. We can pop the Skeleton King ability on the other side. Now we can go for our Evolve Zap and try to Spell Cycle his Bowler. <laughs> This feels so sincerely stupid. Like, it just doesn't seem like a real game of Clash Royale, you know? Anyway, we're going to go for our Night Witch in the back right, and then we're going to go in for our Golem, and then I can go for Evolve Skeletons and the Bowler and the Evolve Knight. I think that we're able to make this defense happen. I might be super, super stupid, but I think this is going to be possible. The Evolve Skeletons might be able to clean up everything. Okay, it didn't happen as planned. It did not happen as planned. Okay. Okay, Clash Royale. I see you. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna pop the Skeleton King ability. We're gonna make sure that the Golem's on top of the tower on the right. There's no way he can stop that. My guy went all in for the win. He had the poison ticking down to the left, but the Golem secured the bag. I'm so glad we were able to rock this man's world with our big bag of rocks, because I did not want to lose that game. It turns out we turned the tables against Goblin Drill and ended up with a positive win record against that overpowered cycle deck. So you can have your Golem Graveyard game plan at the start of the game in mind, where your opponent's gonna struggle to find what they want to do. Slap the like button with the skeleton if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe for more daily content, and have an amazing rest of your day.